Have you ever wondered what would happen if Earth turned into a pressure cooker, trapping heat so intensely that life as we know it could no longer survive? This isn't just the stuff of science fiction. It's a chilling reality we could be headed toward. It's called the runaway greenhouse effect. And today, we're diving deep into what it is, why it matters, and how we can prevent it. Let's start with Venus, our neighboring planet, and a terrifying example of the runaway greenhouse effect. Venus wasn't always the blazing inferno it is today. Scientists believe it once had oceans, perhaps even a temperate climate. But billions of years ago, a combination of volcanic eruptions and an atmosphere overloaded with carbon dioxide trapped heat so effectively that its surface temperature skyrocketed to over 450 degrees Celsius. The oceans boiled away, leaving behind a hostile wasteland. Could Earth face a similar fate? The runaway greenhouse effect happens when greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapor create a feedback loop, trapping more and more heat. The hotter it gets, the more these gases are released into the atmosphere, amplifying the problem. On Venus, this feedback loop spiraled completely out of control. On Earth, it's not inevitable, but the warning signs are already here. Global temperatures are rising, ice sheets are melting, Permafrost is thawing, releasing trapped methane, a greenhouse gas over 25 times more potent than carbon dioxide. Wildfires, once seasonal, now rage year-round, pumping more CO2 into the atmosphere. It's like we're adding fuel to a fire we can't afford to let burn. But there's hope. The key lies in breaking the feedback loop before it's too late. Here's how. First, we must drastically reduce carbon emissions transitioning to renewable energy sources, like solar, wind, and hydropower, isn't just an option. It's a necessity. Countries around the world are adopting clean energy targets, but progress needs to be faster and more ambitious. Second, protecting and restoring our planet's natural carbon sinks, forests, mangroves, and peatlands is critical. These ecosystems act as sponges, absorbing CO2 from the atmosphere, Destroying them is like punching holes in the lifeboat while we're still trying to stay afloat. Third, we need to invest in innovative technologies like carbon capture and storage. Imagine machines that can pull CO2 directly out of the air. These technologies are no longer futuristic concepts. They're being developed right now and could play a vital role in reversing the damage. And finally, it's about individual action. Every decision we make whether it's choosing public transport over driving, reducing food waste, or supporting sustainable products, sends a ripple through the system. Small actions add up when millions of people are on the same page. The runaway greenhouse effect is a stark reminder of what's at stake. Venus shows us the worst-case scenario, but Earth's story isn't written yet. We still have the power to change the ending. It's not just about saving the planet, it's about preserving our future our children's future, and the incredible diversity of life that shares this home with us. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest content. Let's work together to protect our planet.